Hello, my name is Yanis Muzikans. I'm the bar manager of Restaurant 1819. Here's my colleague. I'm Alex Mariani, assistant head bartender here at Restaurant 1890. Welcome to our bar. And today we'll be showing you five of our iconic signature cocktails here at Restaurant 1890. Here's our small, intimate bar. We have 18 seats and in here we do a personalized very intimate service uh, for each and our guests. And here is our bar. So the first cocktail of today will be the X. We allow the people to travel to the Aix en Provence in France. The ingredients is Saint Germain. Then you go to Mandarin Napoleon, which is a cognac-based mandarin liqueur. For our next ingredient, we will use Italicus. It's a bergamot liqueur. To add some citrusness. And as a main ingredient, we use our Malfi, con arancia blood, orange gin. Next, we do uh, our peach, homemade peach cordial, which is made with a peach syrup and a little bit of an acid. And finally, we use a Maya from Provence, a rosé wine. Adding some ice. And chill. Chill our glass and strain. We garnish with green skeleton leaf. And here is our X in Provence. Enjoy. So for our next cocktail, we'll be creating the Monarch, which was invented for the Charles III the coronation. As his favorite cocktail was a martini, here we have a Monkey 47 infused with Earl Grey tea. Next we add Rat Quapa or Ring Queen Queen to adding a peach as a peach aperitif. For our next ingredient, we'll be using the Elderflower Cordial, which adds a little bit of an acidity and a uh, 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 floral notes to the drink. Next we have Lillet Blanc, which is uh, white worm from France. Finishing off with uh, Mount Fuji bitters, which are made of an ingredients we're growing on, on the bottom of the mountain of a Mount Fuji in Japan, which adds again extra layer of the complexity and little floral notes. Yeah. As a martini, stir drink. Here you're gonna find some tannins coming out from the elderberry tea. And for me, it reminds me just like a peach tea, peach iced tea. It's great to enjoy before dinner or just for a drink in a nice hot summer day. I'm just finishing off with lemon twist in wheel shape. And here is the Monarch. Enjoy. For our next cocktail, we're going to be making Star of 1890. So, this cocktail is uh, inspired by New York Sour. And if you didn't know, New York Sour was invented in 1890 and our restaurant name is 1890. So it works perfectly. So now we'll, we'll start off with adding a Havana Club 7, 7 years old. Followed by uh, Maker's Mark, a bourbon, complemented with Grand Manier, a cognac-based orange liqueur. And as the next ingredient is something homemade ingredient, which is, a, we call it a sea buckton shrubs, which is made out of sea buckton puree, queen's vinegar, and vanilla. So if to those who don't know what is sea buckton, is a berry and very popular in England. It doesn't have really a flavor, however, adding a little bit of a sweetness brings out quite a lot of a tropical notes. And for the next ingredient, we have orange juice. And for the last ingredient, instead of egg white, we use the Miraculous Former. It's vegan. Also, it does exactly the same as the egg white. However, it doesn't leave the egg whitey flavor and the mouthfeel after, afterwards. So I believe, in, my, in my opinion, it's the best to use. We shake. And pour our cocktail. 
And as a New York Sour has always a red wine float, we will finish it off our cocktail with Lensch Spatlesi from Austria. And here is our star of 1890. Please enjoy. So for our next cocktail, we shall be preparing the Queen of Divas Negroni, which is one of our signatures here at Russian 1890. To start off with, we will start off with our gin, which will be the Kinobi gin. Following that, we shall be adding our Antica formula and Campari, so as any regular Negroni. So for the time being, it is a regular Negroni. However, we do have a couple of tricks up our sleeve. So here we're going to add, as our one of our secret ingredients, will be the peach liqueur. Now, why are we adding the peach liqueur? Because it has a lovely connection with Mr. Escoffier and Helen Porter, also known as Nelly Melba. Now, the connection there is basically that when he was at the Savoy Grill, he created a lovely dessert, which unfortunately didn't have a name yet. So when Mrs. Nelly Porter went downstairs and decided to have this uh, lovely dessert, she asked what was the name of this dessert? At that time, there was no name for it, and therefore that's why it became the Peach Melba. So the connection is a peach liqueur inside our Negroni. And then for the name of the Divas Negroni, it is added as Nelly Melba was known as the Queen of Divas at that time. And also, I added a secret ingredient, which uh, is our infusion of a uh, strawberry with some Campari and peach liqueur. So for the ice block, the reason we use this at Russian 1890, just to help with the chilling of the cocktail and to prevent any over-exaggerated dilution, which normal rice will do. And to finish off, we shall be adding our garnish, which is the infused strawberry. So this is the Queen of Divas Negroni. Please enjoy. So for our next drink, we shall be making the uh, Holy Trinity Old Fashioned. By starting, we'll be using our Corvosia VSOP. After that, we shall be following it with our Bullets Rye. And an assortment of bitters. So here we have Paychamps, two dashes. Orange bitters, again two dashes. And finally, Angostura, two dashes. And to finish this cocktail off, we shall be using our black truffle syrup. So the reason behind the name of the Holy Trinity Old Fashioned is that, as you can see, is only using three ingredients. Corvossier, bullet rye, and then the truffle syrup. So the truffle syrup is only used as to, let's say, mesh and merge all the flavours together and to create a velvety texture inside the mouth. And it's not overpowering at all, which a lot of people do believe as this is truffle. And as per the Queen of Divas Negroni, we shall be using an ice block. We will use the essential oils from the orange and place it on top. There we go. The Holy Trinity Old Fashions. So hope you enjoyed watching us making our signature cocktails. Like and subscribe. And we're looking forward to welcoming you at our bar at Russian 1890.